Drake dropped dog food yet? He put out the dog food. What's the album called? Damn it, man. What? Were you mad he didn't put the album out yet? No, man. Damn it, man. I forgot. The, the two fairy forgot, man. Man, shut up. Damn it, man. Your wife home? They, they up already. You? They up already. Oh, I mean, I mean, yeah, let me. Yeah, but anyway, morning, everybody. I, I, that's the, your fault for telling them kids the two fairies still exist. The two fairy does still exist. Stop that. There's kids going to school and the two fairy does exist. Two I'm sure there's a kid out there. That, yes, he does. What about all these porn disenfranchised kids just walking around toothless and they ain't getting no money for it? Stop got it. a bag of teeth. Two waiting, fairy does just, exist. Got a bag of teeth just waiting to cash it in and don't know why they can't get it cashed in because y'all keep telling these lies about the two fairy. Two fairy does exist. Right. I don't know. I grew up Joe's witness. Hey, twin. Me too. What no two fairy? Oh, my goodness. No Easter Bunny, mm -hmm. no Santa Claus. Mm -hmm. no I'm humbug to both of y'all. I'm it just is. saying, we grew up, you got to get it real. That's right. And, and once again, what about all the poor and disenfranchised kids who don't get no money for their teeth? What you tell them? Why the two fairy don't visit them? Why is not a place you could take your teeth like you could take Coke cans and get like a quarter of a dime for? That is true. We should do that for four years. You, we you grew up that. poor and we was poor. That we used to take the Coke real, cans. That's real, D. I'm I ain't never thought you. about that. For people that grew up poor... You know what I'm saying? Uh, growing up poor right now, bring your kids' teeth to a certain location and we cash it in, <laughs> give you money for teeth. You need money for teeth. But there's something we can do with those teeth. I just don't know what. Oh, my goodness. Let's get to the room. It's Lil D's here. <laughs> Dallas, Texas. K-104 hey, oh, yeah, in Dallas. Dallas. You got to make sure you're empty. You feel me? You got to be You know what time it is. This is the Rumor Report. I feel great. Been up since 2. So early? Yeah, why not? On The Breakfast Club. Hey, this Lil D lady you got to Let's go. Shit. Damn. Okay, so I'm from Louisiana, uh, so we got to talk about Boosie. Boosie and Young Boosie Blue. Boosie badass. How, how you say it? Boosie badass. Don't do that. Um, Boosie <laughs> and Young Blue have been going back and forth because Boosie claims that Young Blue owes him money. Well, don't nobody like being played with in their face. And mm -hmm. Blue posted like a million dollars. He was like, sold out shows. I'm doing it. Here come Boosie. Still don't want to pay me. At this point, he planned just like a whole bunch of expletives, and Boosie was not on it. Young Blue was like, okay, but what you don't want is for me to really tell these people what's really going on. I really got receipts. Like, you really need to chill. So we'll see what's going on there. I think Young Blue got bigger issues, like that girl who didn't smell very well. He claimed he didn't smash. Maybe he should fix his family life first. Mm. Jesus, little D. I'm saying. All right. Allegedly. I, allegedly. Even Young Blue said he was like, I ain't smash her because she had an odor. Mm. And then the girl was like, Well, you can't smell a receipt. I got real receipts. And I'm like, I she didn't say she didn't stink and it was weird. Well, see, when a man makes a statement like that, because he is married, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So if he makes a statement like that that he didn't smash because she had an odor, that lets me know that there might be some type of understanding between him and his significant other. No, she kicked him out of the house. She did. Uh oh. <laughs> so why why did he admit to that? I don't know. Maybe he's just mm. an honest guy. He was like, I let you tag along all day because I didn't want you to feel bad and just put you back on the plane because you smell. Receipts. She had video. Oh. Mm -hmm. So he, like, well, it's kind of he had to. Man, was black like, men don't cheat. Correct. Black boys still do. Yes. Okay. So mm -hmm. he's, he's clearly still moving like a little boy out here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, technically he didn't cheat because her pH balance was off. Um, But okay. The intent, so. though. The intent, D. <sighs> oh. All right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> All right, so 50 Cent, you remember when he threw that microphone in the crowd and unfortunately it hit somebody in the head and all mm -hmm, of this and mm -hmm. he was frustrated because it didn't work? Well, Lil Wayne was supposed to be a special guest mm -hmm. on Khaled's set during a Beyonce show. His mic didn't work either. And 50 was like, see, I'm trying to tell you, only thing left is Taylor Swift's show. I fired everybody involved in the audio department. If the mm -hmm. mic don't work, your ass don't work here. Yeah. I mean, I get it. I mean, artists are performing. You're in front of what, 50, 40, 50,000, 30,000 people, and, and they have sound checks, and this is your only job. And if the mic doesn't work, what am I supposed to do? 15 off of that young lady a settlement yet? Hmm. Where's Tierra Marie at? <laughs> I'm smiling for her. I, I, I can go with that, but like, I think specifically because it's Lil Wayne, it might be deeper than this. Because Wayne be canceling shows like for nothing. But if Wayne was actually there in the venue, like, he's not going to pull up to the venue and be like, I ain't performing. Like, I'm sure there was an issue or problem. Remember when he was in L.A. and his artist was performing? And he was like, nah, y'all ain't giving them enough love. We work hard. Thank you. Goodbye. That's true. Yep, and, that's like, true. left. But, like, don't nobody know their songs. What you want us to do? You don't know their songs? That's true. His artist? Let me mess with you. <laughs> and I don't even say it like that because I went to the Wayne Show in Dallas and a few of them, I'm like, hold on. What's his? And I looked up their Apple Music like, hey, okay, this riding. Mm -hmm. But in the moment, no, I don't know you, sir. I'm mm -hmm. waiting on Go DJ to play. Mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. you, like, what you want me to do? But 50 ain't settled with the woman yet is what y'all telling me. Not that I heard of. I don't know. Yeah, he should have settled that already. 
Ooh. You don't want you you don't want that. Maybe to go they're to working court. behind the scenes. We don't know. Yeah, you don't want that one to go to court. Mm-mm. Speaking of settling though, I am so proud of Sean Puffy P Diddy Puff Daddy Combs because he gave these artists a publishing back. Now, if you know anything about Bad Boy, you know it's always been like this thing said like Diddy don't pay his artists and all of this. Well, Diddy came off the coin. I'm hoping we can get the versus battle now. But like I'm talking everybody, Faith Evans, Mace, who has been very vocal about the fact that he wants his money. Mm-hmm. One twelve, we missed the whole verse this battle because they couldn't do it. Uh, the locks, even in a state of Biggie, all got signed agreements to receive their publishing rights back. I mean, I think that's that's wonderful. I think that's great. I just wonder why now? Because these artists been asking for years, long time. Well, I think two things. I think one, uh, Diddy got offered one of those deals for for the publishing mm-hmm. for, his, for the catalog, mm-hmm. and he know he probably would have got a lot of backlash. If he'd have sold it for a whole bunch of money, people would have been like, "Oh, Diddy, you know, you don't pay your artists, blah blah blah." Mm-hmm. And two, he got an album coming up. So this part of the rollout. <laughs> Yo, you stupid, man. You stupid. This part of the rollout. But, but I, I was trying to figure out why, because for a long time, these artists have been trying to get their publishing. They've been fighting for their publishing. They've been vocal from people from Mace. Well, he's been the most vocal. Yeah. And I was just wondering, like, why now? But You're probably trying to get all bad energy out of the way. Yeah, you he's know what I mean? Now. Let me get yeah, all, let me get all bad energy out of the way. Like, like I said, he got, I think he probably got offered some money for this catalog. Mm-hmm. He know if he sold it. It'd get a lot of backlash because people be like, well, why you ain't give this person that and this person this, yada, yada, yada. And he got an album coming out. Mm. So let me clear all negative energy out the way. Yeah, you, you know? know, he turned down a, a deal to buy the publishing, like a multi million dollar publishing deal. Mm-hmm. He turned it down and instead gave them people their money. So it looks great because now we in the news saying well, gave them they publishing. Great. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So now we in the news saying he's amazing and he got an album coming out. Yeah. So I love that for him. It's, 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 I think it's about both those things. I just know he would have got a lot of flag. Like imagine Diddy would have sold his publishing the catalog for three hundred million dollars. Mm-hmm. Right? Probably been would have been on his ass yeah, about right. that. Why Mace ain't got his money then? Why this person yeah. ain't got their money? Why that person ain't got their money? So to avoid all of that, and the fact he got an album coming out, just give him the publishing. Mm. Salute to Master P Louisiana's finest. You don't ever hear Mia X saying she ain't got her publishing. You don't ever hear Silk the Shocker and Fiend and Mystical saying they ain't get their publishing. Mm. I mean, but listen, that's different. We don't bring up family <laughs> business. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> artist wise, I, I ain't never heard Romeo say nothing about no publishing. Romeo said before that him and his father was going back and forth about well, some, some money's no earned. Now nah, it's just money's earned or something. Money's owed. Nah, Not sure what it was. spreading rumors about Master P up here now. Master P come up here. Crying to you, talking to talk, you know what I mean? <laughs> Master P, you no, know, him and you know, you know whenever they say forth. Master P talk, they say it sound like he crying. You think Master P ain't nah, gonna pull up on him? Nah, him and his going back and forth. Uh, you just out here spreading rumors about P. Drop on the clues bombs for P. P is an OG legend, and he will be respected as such. He is. Period. Okay? Absolutely. Louisiana Watch your mouth, Rashawn. All right? All right, Leonard. Watch your mouth about Percy Miller. Y'all so cute. Y'all be having love and spats like this. Oh. All, all the time. That's my guzzman. Oh, I love y'all. Man, I'm not his husband. Yeah, definitely so my husband. That is all in his mind. That definitely my husband. <laughs> Def- <laughs> definitely. Nah, all in he his better mind. claim you. Yeah, I don't. He, he claim me. This is disgusting. He claim me. All right, this man's son. This man got a whole son. All right, he walking around. The, I came up here just trying to be outside side chick because I know y'all together. I don't want no problems, and he don't even claim you. No, I don't. That's rude. Well, stop, man. Stop embarrassing your son like this. I'm your not. son got to walk around campus. <laughs> Speak okay? your truth. Speak your there truth. There is no truth. It is. It's disgusting. Well, who else you giving your donkey to this morning? <laughs> Four after the hour is going to a young man named Dana McIntyre. Uh, he needs to come to the front <laughs> of the congregation, and I'm going to tell you why. I told y'all that everybody who got a PPP loan was going to end up in PPP prison. Mm-hmm. He's just the latest. Y'all all going to jail. I just want you to know that. We'll talk about it. All right, we'll get to that next. Little D is here. She's our guest co-host. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.